Hey guys, welcome to my brand new home. Come on in, check it out. My name is Kristen. I run the outdoor adventure blog called Barefoot Theory. Uh, I've been a full-time outdoor blogger since 2014. And my goal with my blog is to make the outdoors more accessible to everyday people by sharing gear, destinations, tips, and info on van life. Some of you guys might recognize me from some of my YouTube videos. So this is actually my second Sprinter van. The first Sprinter van I had for two years. I had a great run with it, but I learned a lot in the process about how I was using the space and the materials that make a durable van. And so I kind of wanted to start over with a fresh slate and this is the final product. Back in October, I contacted Outside Van, their Sprinter Van conversion company based just outside of Portland uh, to inquire about having them build out my Sprinter. I had heard great things about them as far as the materials and the durability and just the functionality of their vans. And after going to their uh, shop and meeting everybody who worked there, I decided that that was gonna be the best route for me. And this is the van that they built and I'm super stoked on it. So. In this video, I'm gonna kind of give you an overview of the layout and some of the features of the van. And then in some upcoming videos, I'll go deeper into the details about the plumbing, the electronics, and all the stuff that make the van what it is. Before I start the tour, I wanna to talk a little bit about the layout and how it's different from the one I had in my last van. Uh, so my last van was 144 inch wheelbase. This is the 170. So I had a lot more room to work with. In my last van, I had a full indoor shower and bathroom. It seemed like a great idea when I built out the van, but as I got on the road, I found out I wasn't really using it that much, and it was a huge use of space that I just found wasn't really worth it for my lifestyle. Finally, um, rather than sort of a permanent bed, I had an aisle that went all the way to the back of the van so I could walk out the back, and I had a bed on this wall where I'm sitting now that kind of converted, it was a sofa that converted out to a bed um, which also doubled as my workspace. So if the bed was out, I didn't have a desk. In this new van, I my priorities were I wanted more storage for bigger stuff, like I wanted to be able to store bikes and other stuff inside the van. I wanted a permanent bed that I didn't have to make every day. I'm gonna be traveling in this pretty much full time from now for the next six months and pretty much every summer thereafter is what I'm planning on. So I didn't wanna have to make the bed every day. And I also wanted to have a more permanent workspace. So if I'm in the van with my partner and he sleeps later than me, I wanna be able to do work or if we have different sleep schedules, having my desk here and the bed there allows me to work and us to have like, to kind of live on our own schedules even though we're living in such a small space. I'll start with the galley here. It has a nice big sink. And to turn the water pump on, the switch is just right here. So I just turn that on. And then I have nice running water. And this is just to create a flat surface so when I'm cooking I have more counter space um, if I don't need to have stuff in the sink. Under here I have a one burner induction stove. I don't plan on doing all of my cooking on this induction stove, but I wanted something that was gonna be quick and easy for making coffee in the morning or toasting bagels or just doing simple cooking. Under the sink here we just have a cabinet. This is some space for cleaning supplies and whatnot. Here we have all of our cooking equipment. And down here we have pots and pans and other cooking supplies. So one thing that's really neat about these drawers is they have a slow closing mechanism. So you don't have to worry about them slamming shut and getting ruined. And then you also have these piss knobs to help them stay locked when you're driving. So up here we have a nice big overhead cabinet. So the cabinets are all made of marine grade plywood. So they're super durable. They're meant to be sh in vehicles and boats that shake and um, they're not gonna fall apart when I'm driving on a dirt road. This is a nice um, laminate that's on top. It gives it that reclaimed look, but it's a lot lighter and more durable than real reclaimed wood. Outside Van calls this a soft wall. Uh, so it's made of ripstop nylon and in between it has a layer of closed cell foam which provides insulation so it helps keep the van warm in winter and also keeps the sun out in the summer so the van doesn't get as hot. It also buttons on the side and then this 
just unhooks there. It just zips. And then you have total privacy. The seats here also swivel, so I'll swivel them around and show you. So you swivel the seats around and then it creates like a wide open space, which is awesome. And then here we have this little flip up table. So it just creates a lot of extra counter space. I could even sit here as a computer if I wanted. Uh, one of my favorite things about my first van was the white walls. I felt like it made the van feel so big and open. So I wanted to do that in this van too. Uh, outside van had never done a white wall before. So we found this product called Sill Leather and it's really cool, it's waterproof, so you can just wipe it down with a wet cloth if it gets dirty. This here is another soft wall. It's made out of the same material of the one that separates the van from the cab. It attaches to the bed frame with magnets, so I can quickly pull it off if I want. This helps insulate the van, so if I'm running the heater in the winter, I'm not wasting my heat on the gear in the garage. I'm mostly heating the main part of the van that we're living in. So this table here is a Lagoon table mount. So it swivels. If you're sitting here and you want to work, you can work like this or say we're eating dinner with two people. We can move it like this. And then when you want to just push it out of the way so you can get into the bed, you just push it against the cushion. This table is actually probably one of my favorite features in the van. Um, I came up with this idea to put a map on a table and outside van said, yeah, we can do that and it looks amazing. What's really cool about these Lagoon tables is they attach to this mounting plate here and you can put more than one mounting plate in your van. So I have another one um, right here and I'll show you why I have that. But basically you just unscrew it, you can pick up the whole table and put it in, in a different location. So the whole table then just comes off from the base. I loosen this and then this just comes right off. And then these two benches actually fold to make a lounge. So right here there's just a little latch. I just press that and I just pull it out like that. That basically creates another bed or a lounge. If you have a giant dog or a kid, they could all sleep on this. So then I can take the table base, I can put it on this mounting plate and then I take my tabletop stick it just in like that and then I can use it over here like this or I can swivel it like this which is really cool because if I'm cooking dinner and I want some extra counter space I can use this to plate my food before I serve it. So this bench also provides quite a bit of storage. This is a huge drawer. They put a nice little extra latch here so if I had to slam my, my brakes that the drawer doesn't like fly forward from the impact and break so this little lever there and that's how big that drawer is so this is where we're going to store our dog food this is an exoskeleton cabinet is what outside band calls it these ones right here these packing cubes these this is all my clothes for six months and then ryan gets this half in the back with it for his clothes so really trying to be minimal and use up the least amount of necessary space for our clothing but have it easy to access this here is a max fan. Um, I have another one up in the front. It's really quiet. It has a rain sensor and it's a bunch of different settings, but it really creates some nice cross breeze with the window here and the window here behind these pillows. You can get a nice breeze even if it's warm at night when you're sleeping. So this is outside van standard three panel bed. So you can actually take the whole bed out if you wanted to store or move bigger stuff in the van, but for the most part, we plan on leaving it in. The bed is slightly bigger than a queen, so we have to get king, king size sheets, which is awesome. And I didn't wanna have like cabinets on both sides the whole way back, because I wanted to be, to feel open in bed and not feel super cramped. That's why we had one cabinet up here and one cabinet on this side over the bed. One thing that was really important to me was having a robust electrical system. And that's one reason I picked outside van is they have so much experience. They kind of know what works, what doesn't. They've tested every kind of battery and they kind of know what the best is. So anyways, uh, all of my batteries are stored in this box here. I have three North Star batteries for a total of 660 amp hours, which is a huge battery bank but I really just didn't ever want to have to worry about my batteries. Second component is the inverter. So I have a Magnum 
2000 watt inverter. So the inverter basically determines like how big of a draw you can have on your outlet. So it's actually like 110 power that your inverter creates. And so with that, I can run a blender. I can charge my electric bikes. I can run my computer. I can charge our phones, cameras, whatever. And then the third component is the solar panels on the roof made by Zamp Solar. And I have 445 watts of solar. In this box here is my entire water system. So I have a 25 gallon freshwater tank uh, that runs to the sink, it goes through a charcoal filter before it reaches the sink. So it filters out anything nasty that might be in the water. I also have a Wabasto dual, dual top Evo 6, which is a diesel heater that heats both the air and the water. It also holds an additional three gallons. So that's 28 gallons of fresh water total. To take a shower, I reach in here, I just grab my little shower, I plug it in here, I turn on my water pump and then I can have a nice outdoor shower. All of these stuff sacks on both of the doors are custom made by Outside Van. You know, this one's for small little tools and things that I want to keep separate and here's where I keep my hose and my shower hose and my compressor hose and hoses galore in that in that pouch. This stuff here is called Mac Track. Outside van can pretty much put it wherever you want in your van. So I have a strip that runs all the way down this wall to the um, seating up there, another strip here, strip here and there for the bikes, and then another one here to strap in this little camp table that I have. Up here on this roof, I have 445 watts of solar made by Zamp Solar. They're a Portland or an Oregon-based company. One thing I really like about this rack is it super low profile so it sits really close to the roof and this rack here was engineered by outside van they call this thing a catwalk so <laughs> it's really cool because it gives me access to clean the panels if they get dirty without having to actually walk on the panels and it also gives me space to hang out up here if i want to take pictures or drink a beer i can hang out up here without feeling like i'm gonna fall off Thank you so much for watching my YouTube tour of my Sprinter van. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. As I said, I'll be sharing a lot more information soon, including the types of materials the outside van uses to build their vans. And you can also visit my website, which is barefoottheory.com, but it's spelled bear like the animal. And there you'll find a whole van life section, which has information on this van, as well as other van life tips for living and traveling on the road. So thanks and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.